A few months back, Manon took you through some mistakes you may encounter when you're just getting into road cycling. Of course, there are plenty of pitfalls you may encounter when you're getting into this beautiful sport. And I'm gonna be honest, I've encountered a few of them myself. So in this video, I thought I'd share a few more mistakes you may wanna try and avoid if you're getting into road cycling. You're looking forward to your ride. You rush out the door, super excited, get 10 minutes down the road and then suddenly you realize you've forgotten your spares. No tools, nothing to fix a puncture with. You're kind of riding naked, so to speak, but you decide to ride on anyway, risk it. Last time you punctured was years ago, then suddenly inevitable happens and you end up on the roadside and you need to call for help. It's all getting a little bit depressing. You wish you turned around gone back for your spares and carried on because then you'd have been able to finish your ride. Now you're waiting for someone to pick you up, a taxi, a train, a bus, and your ride's over. It's a ride ending mistake. Try to avoid it if you can. Not dressing right for the conditions you're riding in can be a costly error. And I think as a good rule of thumb, it's always best to overdress rather than underdress because you can always peel those layers off and cool yourself down. If you're out on the bike, you get cold and you don't have any clothes to to warm yourself up with, it is very, very hard to get warm and it's gonna make for an uncomfortable ride too because you're gonna be freezing, you're not gonna enjoy yourself as much and you're not gonna be able to ride as hard either because once you get cold, it's really hard for your muscles to perform in the way you want them to. So layer up, if you can, bring a nice light rain jacket and you can simply just peel those layers off as you get warm, get cold, peel them back on and keep on riding. Summertime, I'd always recommend bringing a light rain jacket like this too in your rain pocket, unless you are really confident that it is not going to tip it down because most of the year when you're riding, conditions are so changeable and it can help just to have that insurance policy for when the rain does begin to fall on your shoulders or your head or your back or your jambons. This is one I'm sure you may be familiar with, biting off more than you can chew. Getting carried away and realise you've set yourself the unachievable task of a long hard ride. You run out of steam and you're beginning to struggle. Now this isn't necessarily a mistake, it's more a mistake to get disheartened by it and put yourself off trying it again because I think the key takeaway is if you have tried this, you've done too much, you can't quite manage what you set out to achieve is then not learning from your errors, thinking about why it went wrong getting a bit more training, staying patient, and getting back out on that road and trying it again. Hang in there, keep working, and you can achieve what you want. You've just started your ride, you feel great, you get caught up in the moment, you enjoy the sights, the sounds of the road, and your legs feeling great. But then, a few hours down the line, you begin to feel those telltale signs of fatigue and hunger, and you realize you just have forgotten to eat or drink anything. This is such a common mistake by beginners and pros alike. And it can be quite catastrophic because once you get to that point, it's quite hard to bring yourself back round and you end up feeling like you're dragging yourself home for the rest of the ride. I think the best way to combat this is to try and be really on it with your nutrition. So try and have a little bit of something every 15 or minutes or so from the start of your ride so you don't find yourself in that situation where it's far too much, far too late. Getting your bike fit wrong or even the frame size wrong of the bike you ride is a big mistake. And if you think it may be happening to you, I'd say, the symptoms of this are just not feeling comfortable on your bike, not managing to put the power out, and cycling just feeling a whole lot harder than you thought it would be. If this is happening to you, don't let your head drop. What I'd recommend is getting a bike fit or checking out some of the many videos on our channel, which will give you some advice and tips on how to get your bike set up correctly so that you can enjoy cycling and also get the most out of it because there's nothing more frustrating than getting on your bike and it just not fitting correctly. It is a big mistake to make, but it is fixable. Flying out on the road in a massive tailwind is an amazing feeling, but it can give you a bit of a false sense of security if you're heading out the door and you don't quite realise it's a tailwind. That's quite dangerous because then when you do turn around, you realise your mistake and that you're riding back home to a big old headwind and you've got a long old day ahead. Now, it's an easy one to avoid. Check the weather forecast before you head out on your bike or if your route goes over various different areas, 
Good little tip is to use Canute's mapping platform, put your route in and check the weather forecast on each point of your planned route to get a really good idea of where that tailwind and more importantly, where that headwind's gonna hit. But still, enjoy the tailwind while you can. So there you go, a few more beginner mistakes that you may want to try and avoid and I hope they don't happen to you. Let us know in the comment section down below if I missed any or maybe there's something really specific that's happened to yourself on the bike when you're just starting out and you want to share it with everyone. Hope it happens to no one. But now I've kind of got lost, which is another mistake to make in your ride. Not knowing your route or planning in advance. Although sometimes mistakes can be good because you discover roads, discover places you wouldn't have otherwise, and it all becomes a big adventure. So it's not always bad news. Thanks for watching everyone. See you on the next video.